today I'm going to uh, interface the switch okay with my uh, microcontroller board so previously all previous concept you get the concept then uh, definitely you will enjoy this one and uh, you uh, you are going to learn the new things here so means how to interface the switch what is our agenda means when I press the switch uh, LED should be odd if I unpress the switch if I release the switch LED should be off so this is the agenda means overall uh, in the previous lecture means there is no there was no control uh, what uh, of the LED on any things okay but now there is totally control on the what a switch means it totally depends on the switch switch whether switch is pressed or switch is not pressed okay so you will uh, learn new things here means what uh, how to handle the switch concepts uh, and so and so so I carefully uh, study this one so this is uh, my demo for is what uh, uh, Arduino Uno switch demo for controlling the switch con sorry controlling the LED using the switch so these are uh, miss what I am going to discuss so this, these are the concepts um, first agenda what is the requirements what are the all steps? First, what is the new things you you guy observe here? A D E. Okay, this is the new things. What is the concept of the switch? And now, uh, what is the difference between digital read, digital write, and pin mode, etc. Function. So, but the rest are the same thing, guys. Right? Okay, so. So now going to discuss uh, today's lecture. So first requirements already 90% uh, common this one only extra thing is what in this demo you need what push button see here uh, don't be confused uh, whether we say what uh, push button or switch both comes in the same category but there is slight difference I will discuss uh, I may discuss at the last okay but uh, it is also possible uh, that uh, I may forget that one so let me finish that one uh, what is the difference between these two things uh, push button means what uh, if you uh, press okay then that uh, uh, that uh, um, some event will ha happen but in case of uh, what um, switch what happens already uh, you can come you can compare from your uh, electricity switch board okay means we have the two states yes or no on off we have the two states on off if you press it is in on state. if you uh, press in the opposite side you have the uh, opposite so you have the two situation but in case of guys push button we have only one situation only I can uh, what a push uh, the button uh, miss and I can release that one means for uh, pushing continuously I have to involve my finger on that button so this is only the difference and uh, better example uh, for uh, the situation where you can involve the push button and where you can involve the switch is that Miss, in case of the LED, fine. I am pressing the switch, LED should be on. Okay, I am releasing the uh, switch, okay, LED should be off. But at the gate, I take the example of what uh, bell. Uh, someone comes at your door, what happens? That guy uh, will press that bell. So, holding his finger always. So, what it means uh, we uh, uh, people uh, uh, sitting in the what um, uh, um, all the family mem members. Uh, watch the voice if but that guy at the door uh, must not uh, hold the hold his finger always so only once a few seconds he is pressing that one I see, then automatically that is released okay so this is the difference. I hope you understand the de basic difference between a uh, push button and switch next one guys same thing all are the same thing So uh, steps are also similar to the previous one. First, you have to open your Arduino ID. Then you have to write your program, corresponding full program. After this, you have to save it, obviously. Then you have to compile the programs. If it doesn't contain any error, then you have to connect your Arduino board to this laptop using the USB cable. Okay. Then you have to choose the particular board uh, by going on the tools and choosing board and then choosing the Arduino Uno. Next step, you have to also choose always the particular COM port number, uh, okay, by going on the same tools and choosing the port number. 
okay then uh, you can upload the program so these are all the steps for uploading the programs on the board next one guys this is the main thing in this lecture in this demo so first you have to understand the concept of the switch see here guys means you have the two figures here means uh, in the first one uh, what is happening and in the second one what is happening try to understand very first one in this scenario means if uh, this is the switch if you press the switch what happens uh, if you know what a basic uh, understanding about the electricity so you can better understand so uh, other end of this one is connected to the ground so while pressing the switch what happens what is supplied on this input line zero is supplied as what uh, this is uh, this is connected to the ground but when you uh, not press the switch then what happens zero is not, not supplied actually one is supplied here and uh, one more points you may have the confusion how one is supplied here internally it is configured guys and in the program i have to also configure so we have some functions using that function means i can make that uh, available ready okay so just remember when you press the switch means a ground that is zero is supplied when you not press the switch means automatically there is one so that pin on the board takes either zero or one so this is the concept means if it is accepting zero it means switch is pressed okay then the microcontroller uh, what to perform some action activity according to the program which we have written in that particular function body now take in the second one what is the what is this one actually this is the actual concept about the switch which i have explained here okay this is a concept uh, means uh, uh, real, uh, what internally it is uh, inbuilt understand so one thing but outside we don't need to take the register we don't need to supply the fire board on the air i uh, means such a facility are available internally only we have to uh, call the particular function for uh, getting such facility okay so this is the beauty of the arduino board if if you take the edge of hyphen board or some another board then you have to configure manually all such things okay so what is the comments in the first figure switch closed zero volt supplied switch open and un undefined is undefined means i said wrong there is one uh, okay that is undefined we can't say that one but this is the correct figure it is built internally so switch close zero volt is supplied when switch is open five volt is supplied understand so now taking the next one guys so a uh, second point uh, uh, you can understand you should know this one also uh, from the previous lecture i have understood what what is the digital read what is digital write and what is the pin mode so uh, once again digital read means what very simple uh, it uh, reads that is it takes something from the external environment on that pin okay means it takes uh, something from the external environment on the microcontroller so it must be configured as uh, input with pull up register this is the concept mean internally it has the pull up register we have to uh, make activate that one guys okay so digital read obviously in case of the switch you you must use the digital read a uh, function okay so uh, means whether switch is pressed or not uh, it can micro, our microcontroller can understand from this uh, function next one digital that as you already already know from the previous uh, demo digital that it uh, writes it provides something like a what a voltage high voltage or low voltage on that particular pin so it gives something from the microcontroller to that pin and so it should be configured as the output so this is the basic difference between uh, such pin next one i have the pin mode again you encountered the pin mode function in the previous demo so uh, it is used it is executed only once and you must write such function within the what uh, starting set of function so what is the uh, main purpose of this one only for what configuration you have to configure means it is used for configuring particular pin as the input or output okay all things are same now i am going to discuss all so all such things on the breadboard so separate power same concept like the previous one no need of discussing this one and this is the program overview here just a look at this one i have declared two variables what my push button and i assign the two means i want to connect the push button on the pin number two okay again i am taking the my led variable and i am studying it it means 
means I am going to connect the LED on the pin number 8. So remember, uh, pin number 2 for the switch and pin number 8 for the LED. Again, I have, as the previous program, I have only two functions, setup function and the loop function. In the setup function, you have to configure something. So here, you notice the extra things here. Very fast, in pin mode, my push button, you have to configure the pin number 2 as the input pull-up register. So this is the beauty of this uh, function. Okay, means I we don't need to bother about what uh, configuring the register into that one. It is internally done. Just I need to call such a, a pin mode function and pass these two parameters. Next, a uh, pin mode my LED output. As you know from the previous uh, demo, means I'm configuring uh, my LED pin, which pin means pin number eight as the output. Okay, fine. Next, in the wide loop, what I have. Uh, int uh, button states equals to digital read, my push button and digital write equals to my LED. Uh, what exclamation sign uh, button is actually this program is not a, a computer guys <coughs> here. I will uh, show you in the Arduino board. This is just a small uh, <coughs> a small demo. So just observe here what is happening means on the digital read which pin number on the uh, I am supplying the push button my push button means a microcontroller is checking the status on the push on the pin number two whether switch is pressed or not if it is pressed i uh, means zero is supplied if it is not pressed one is supplied so whatever the case um, either zero or one that is stored into the button state variable this is the third variable i have uh, taken button state. so button state takes either zero or one okay now immediately using the digital write function i have supplied but here this is what uh, exclamation sign this is a, another operator just it reverse the state of that one so what is in the button state either 0 or 1 if it contains 0 it reverse that is it supplied the 1 if it contains a 1 it reverse the value that is it makes 0 so supplying the 0 so very simple it is supplying the either 0 or 1 onto the my LED what what do you mean by my LED pin number 8 so when switch is pressed 0 is taken into button state and but one is supplied that is high value is supplied on the pin number eight means your led should be on and uh, when switch is not pressed okay then what happens so one is uh, there in that case opposite of one that is zero is supplied that is zero voltage is supplied means uh, your led is not a glow so this is the very simple one okay so this is the final picture means uh, i will show you all such things uh, means I am taking the water switch on the breadboard and how to connect I will show you from the starting point. Okay. So after this, after getting this one, your work should be what? Controlling 8 LEDs. Already you know previous 8 LEDs are scrolling. But in the previous lecture, without uh, what switch concepts, that is a scrolling. Okay. But now you have to involve what you have to control the previous activity using the switch means when you press the switch only then that uh, scrolling activity should be happened otherwise it should not be so this is the task for you guys okay now i am going to uh, demonstrate all such activity practically our next demo will be what about the serial communication very important concepts in any microcontroller in the embedded system serial communication but as you know my focus is what uh, to give you maximum practical knowledge that's why means I am not able to discuss it in every topic so um, what is my expectation I ex expect uh, you must have the basic understanding of the embedded system okay so later uh, I will plan to launch a uh, what uh, edge of hyphen with wireless um, embedded system that is compulsory for you then uh, you can better understand each and every activity uh, but uh, uh, such a uh, Arduino a project demo is uh, meant for that guys uh, which has the basic idea about the embedded system okay fine now coming next so going to demonstrate the uh, practical so just wait so very first i am opening the So this is the function already I have written that one. Okay, already I have written that one. So pin number two, 
and pin number eight. I just kept that one, guys. I don't want to uh, waste time here. Okay. So I already saved this one. I compiled this one. I up uploaded the uh, into microcontroller. Now directly I'm showing that one on the blade board. So just to watch this one. So see here. Uh, first on the bed board I have taken a LED and I have taken the switch means a push it don't say switch I just push button okay so just uh, remember the sequence in the case of LED uh, this side is related to the positive side and this side related to the uh, this side related to the ground okay and in the same switch case what this is uh, from the what ground side and this is from the what uh, power side okay so see very first thing what I have to do First, I'm taking the ground and in the bed board, I'm making here ground line one. Now, immediately from this ground, from the bed board, I'm connecting into the uh, push button on one side. Next one, next one, what I'm taking, I'm taking what uh, the pin number two zero one two pin number two in the program. This is mean for the what push button. So here, uh, I'm connecting this to my push button on the opposite side like this. Okay. So it is connected. Means my push button is connected on the pin number two. Next, I'm taking what switch for the switch. So, uh, uh, which uh, pin number uh, in the program eight pin number eight. So this is the pin number eight. Now, I'm connecting this uh, to the LED with the register side. Remember this one with the register side. Okay. After then, then uh, why, what is the compulsory things? It means I have separate the ground. I have uh, uh, separate this one. Then yes, means LED. That I miss that one. So. So from which means here ground means I missed to supply the ground to that one now it is okay now here you can observe this I'm pressing the switch I'm pressing the switch then LED is uh, what uh, on if I'm pressing the switch LED is on pressing the switch LED on I release if I release the uh, a switch push button it is off it is on it is off it is on it is off it is on it is off so this is the demo for this one very simple one, guys you must practice because in the future I am going to take the what uh, some extended level projects. So for this, uh, Miss, you must uh, be practical on such uh, small things. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you for meeting this one. Now I am going to close the session. Meeting you in the next uh, demo section. Okay, thank you.